Hey guys, before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know to please join my Discord server. There's literally only one day left for you guys to join the Mega War giveaway and the Megalon giveaway. The late Valentine's plush has four days left, but that's not as big, so I want everyone possible to be able to enter these two giveaways. All you have to do, join the server, verify your account of course, and then all you have to do is click this party button, and then you're entered. That's all you have to do, and literally just pray that you win. We're going to be doing many more giveaways in the future, probably for 4k as well, and just a lot of events and stuff, but let's get into the video. Yo, what's up guys? So, as you guys may know, last week Dungeon Simulator dropped the Shark Week update containing the remodels and the skin remodels. So, a lot of people have been wondering what skins will be good for PvP, and what skins are just there to look good. So, today I set up a little tiny event just to do PvP among my viewers, and we'll see which shark is the best. Excluding the skins, of course. So we have Jeffy here helping us today, so greatly appreciate his help. So the first round we're going to be doing is Kratox Arena versus Squally Corax. So, you know, just a basic two sharks. We're going to see which one comes out on top. So if you guys remember, Kratox Arena is the shark that has the really good animations. And most of the time, that spells downplay for the shark itself. Because the ones that look good usually aren't that good in PvP, but... Will that change today? We'll have to check. Stay tuned. So actually, before we get into the fighting, I'm gonna just check out their base stats and compare them to each other, excluding like the range and stuff. So Kratox Arena, 110 damage, 1,615 health, 15 armor, 4 speed, 1.2 attack rate, 2 bleed, and 150... I don't know what this is. Is this DNA given or something? I don't know. But... Those are the Kratoxy stats. And then we have Squally. 105 damage, 1160 health, 21 armor, 3 speed, which is obviously inaccurate, 0.7 attack rate, 2 bleed, and 150 whatever that is. But as you guys know, Squally is pretty good with range and especially bleed. So we're going to have to see which one comes out on top here. Alright, so we got Jeffy here. He's a Squally Corrects. Gotta ask him if he's ready and then we'll start the PvP. So this is PvP to yellow, so obviously if you guys go to red, I'm assuming both sides might bleed out. Alright, three, two, one, go. So I have not tested out the PvP abilities of either of these sharks, so we're gonna have to see which one is better. And okay, the first hits have been landed. It does a crap ton of bleed. Oh, Okay. Now remember, Kratox does have more HP in the long run. So, yeah, it looks like Squally is the better shark, uh, especially since, you know, it can somewhat have the same range. They're pretty much equal in range, but the health is just a downplay for Squally. But Squally is more like a, a suicidal charge for if you're trying to kill someone. But 8 bleed, that's insane. Alright, so now we're gonna do, I'm using Squally and he's using Kratox just to, you know, solidify that it wasn't a fluke and that it can go, like, it doesn't go either way, pretty much. So I'm gonna use what he was just using and he's gonna use what I was just using so we can just make sure that everything went, you know, according to how it's actually supposed to be. Alright, it begins. So I, th I do think it has more range, so yeah, it does. So Squally definitely wins if you're smart, which I just took a hit. But if you can play your range, which I don't, I need to establish. Oh shoot, he just got another bite. But we pretty much do the same amount of bleed, so that's what's kind of scary in this situation. Oh wow, damn. Yeah, so Squally can come out on top. Especially if you utilize the bleed to your advantage. Squally definitely has more range. That's what I was talking about. So if you use it correctly, Squally comes out on top over at Kratox Arena. Which is pretty insane comparing the health difference or whatever. Alright, so next, I'm going to be the Land Shark skin that dropped for Concavenator. If you guys didn't know, this is what it looks like. So apparently... Oh, crap. You stupid. Alright, he's here. We got it ready. Three, two, one, go. So one thing you have to utilize here is range, because if you take all the bleed that Kratox is going to be applying, and then you don't take care of your health, you are going to lose. Which, I don't know if he knows the range here yet, but... Uh-oh. 
Nah, this doesn't look like Vitox is, or a uh, gaming dude is gonna be able to come out on top here. Dang. That is a crap ton of bleed. Yeah, Kratox, Arena, and Squally, their bleeds are just insane. If you let them land bites on you, you're gonna be at a huge disadvantage for the whole entire fight. Because as you guys know, bleed is probably like the carrying factor of most of this update. Because I don't know if they buffed it up or something, but it is absolutely insane now. Alright, so before we do another 1v1, I just want to test the range. Because I heard that land shark was super overpowered, so... Okay, so I can bite him from there. He can bite me. He can bite me. Okay. Okay, so Land Shark does outrange Kratox Arena. But the one disadvantage, I think Kratox is a little bit faster in water and plus. You're also sliding in the water, so it's a little bit harder to get where you want to be. So, yeah. Alright, so we're going to do round two. But once again, it is kind of hard to 1v1 in water. So maybe they were talking about on land it's overpowered. Because honestly, I could just face tank him here and I, I'll probably be fine realistically. Because he doesn't bleed me. And, you know, I can, I can somewhat outrange him in the water, so... I just wanna I wanna let him bleed to yellow. Cause I yeah, look at that. The bleed for the sharks are so insanely overpowered. It's it's honestly the carrying factor in the fights. Alright, so for the last small tier fight, we're gonna do Squally Corax versus Land Shark. So this is gonna be pretty interesting because Squally I think has some decent range to it. And then it also has as much armor and a decent amount of damage. So actually I kinda wanna test range first, because I wanna see how much you know, each can range each other compared to the Kratox. Okay, so once again, Landshark does outrange Squally Corax. So that's that's a plus for it, but once again, it is hard to fight underwater, so if he can't utilize his range, it's perfectly normal. Alright, let's see where let's see where, let's see where Squally can hit it from. Okay, so I can hit it from about here. Which, in the long run, once again, isn't bad because he's going to be sliding and it's going to be hard for him to utilize his range. That's the thing with underwater fights. They're so unpredictable. You really can't tell who's going to win. So, but yeah, Landshark definitely has some decent range to it. So everyone who was saying that it was meta and that it was really good, you definitely were not lying. Three, two, one, go. Once again, though, this... HP is a lot closer than the last fight was, so we're gonna have to see. And he actually does bleed me. Ah, oh, but he's not winning this. Watch, the bleed is just gonna take its toll here. No matter how many bites he gets on me, this is not gonna work. The Squally's bleed is insane. Land Shark, decent range, and a decent amount of stats, but it just can't compare to the Sharks. Alright, so this is the last one we're doing. Three, two, one, go. Which, I don't think it's going to have a very different result. Because, once again, the sliding is insane. Even if he face tanks me, that bleed is just going to roll right in. So, yeah, everyone who's wondering what's meta underwater, definitely use the sharks. Do not use this little fella. He might be better on land than he is in water. So, you know, now you know what to use in water and what to use on land. There's the difference between the two. Alright, so as I don't have my Pleosaurus Elder, I actually created my stats to be as close as possible to an Elder Pleosaurus, which is what I really love about the private servers. You can kind of just like, make your own stats, and even if you're not Elder, you can just make it Elder stats, so that's really cool. So the f for the final fight, we're gonna do Jaws the Jurassic versus Megalodon, which in hindsight, might not seem fair. But the damage on Pleosaurus might just do it a little bit of wonders for it. We're just going to have to see how the range applies out to each of them. Alright, so as always, first we're going to test the range between the two first. So, I cannot bite him from there. It's getting pretty, pretty close here. Oh, wow. This is this is a lot closer than I thought they'd have to be to bite each. What the hell? Oh, he's a. All right, take two of that. That was that was kind of embarrassing. Oh, 
this is kind of scary. How close do I have to be to bite him? Oh, this is this is not looking good for Pleosaurus. Oh wow, this is terrible. <laughs> this is trash. All right, three, two, one, go. I don't think Pleosaurus is gonna come out on top. The health difference is too crazy in this is this scenario. Plus, he bleeds me. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, no way, no way. Jeez, five bleed as well. Wow, yeah, Pleosaurus, I thought I was going to be able to have a slight chance if it had some decent range, but that just shows me all in one fight what I needed to know. Yeah, I could only drop him to about 500 health down, and that just kind of spelt out the fight. That's really it? I don't even need to do a second fight. I don't know, man. I mean, I thought this skin would be somewhat decent for PvP, but it turns out it just it does not stand a chance. I don't know. I thought Pleosaurus would have somewhat of a chance against the Megalodon, but listen, you learn and you move on, so who knows? Yeah, you definitely could. He just said you could face take with a Meg, you definitely could, but um, that's gonna be it for this video. We tested pretty much every everything that was included with the new Shark Week update. If you're excluding trading, of course, because how? <laughs> yeah, let's test the trading PvP, but uh, that's pretty much everything. And now you guys know what is the best sharks to use. So definitely use Meg and either of the sharks for the water. If you want to go on land, you could definitely use land shark because it looked like it had some pretty good range to it. But that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.